Hi everybody! Today we will be learning how to make an origami brain. Let's get started. So first you will need a piece of paper. I'm using red because we're making a brain. You could use any type of paper. So first you will be needing to make a square. So let's make it. Then, you will be needing to take the extra piece off, which you're not going to be needing anymore. Then, you're going to be opening it up and you'll be getting a nice square piece of paper. Then. You're going to be folding this in all the six directions. Now, you will be doing something that's like this. Or, you could do like this. So, you will be fold, you will be taking the piece of paper and then folding it in half and then taking this and putting it like this and doing the same at the back so next you're going to be folding this one like this and the same for the other like this then flip it over and do the same the fold you're doing is at the top not at the bottom it should be looking something that's like this so the folds are at the top and it should be the same if you put it over and then the next step is to do this like something like this so you will be folding it in the center and then do the same for the other but make sure both of them line up it should be right in the middle and then flip it over and do the same Then, the next step is to put these two flaps into these. So you will be taking one and putting this into this. And make sure that the flap is at the top, not in the bottom. So, let's do it. then you'll be flipping it over and then you're not gonna be putting this into into this 
but you're just gonna be folding it like this. Not going inside, it's just folded outside. And then, these two flats are gonna be modified in some other thing, which we'll be doing right now. So you'll be squishing this into a cone shape thingy. And then, you'll be closing it. Then, you'll be doing it, of course, for the other one. And then, you'll be folding this one at the top like this and doing the same for the bottom. It's to get a um, square shaped ring. <laughs> and then you could just do that like for the other side, like folding it the other way. And then, lastly, you're going to be inflating it, meaning that you're going to be making it like a balloon. But before you do that, make sure to make it something like this. It should be um, spread out in all directions for comfort. Here is the brain. Our final model. So, um, this one, this big one, is the cerebrum. This one is the cerebellum, which you can see the internal parts if you open it and draw something in it. And then this one is the brainstem. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching and bye.